Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tamaria Lakay, and I was coming to you with another video. This video is gonna be something different apart from my sister lock videos that I've been doing over the last few weeks. Today I'm going to be doing kind of like a story time video. And as well, while I'm telling my story, I'm going to be enjoying a grilled cheese sandwich and a cucumber and tomato salad. So it's gonna be kind of like a, um, a mukbang, you could say, or what is it? An A C R S M, or you know that A C M. I'll look it up before I go ahead and title this video, but it will be kind of like one of those. I felt like it would be fun. I'm nice and hungry. So, the story that I'm deciding to go ahead and tell today is how I knew I was pregnant. So if you're new to this channel or if you stopped by before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my other future uploads. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now first and foremost, like I said, I'm hungry. So I just wanna get into this grilled cheese first before I even decide to touch my salad. I don't know what it is about bread and being pregnant. Anyways, I think I'm gonna have to use my phone To look at my notes so basically i'm gonna go over how i found out i was pregnant or pretty much when i knew i was pregnant and then as well some of the symptoms and side effects that i've had in my first trimester of pregnancy thank god the first trimester is over because that is horrible it's All right, let's see. So typically, my period comes like regularly. It doesn't like miss a beat, and if it does, it's only off by like a date. So I always know when to expect my period. So I knew my period was coming, and I was like, all right, let me go to the store and buy some pads because I'm gonna need some pads. I only have a few left, and I need some more. So I went to the store, I got my pads because it was close to the time that my period was about to start. And so for some odd reason, I knew my period was close, but I kept going to work and I kept forgetting to put my pads in my purse. And I'm like, oh Lord, I'm gonna be that girl at work walking around asking everybody if they got pads or tampons. And I hate doing that because it's embarrassing. Like girlfriend, you know when you're about to come on your period. so. Why aren't you prepared? And I just kept on forgetting to bring them. And I was like, you know what? It's gonna be a big mess one day. And before I know it, like five days after I was expecting my period to come had passed. And I was like, wait, not one or two days passed, but a whole five days passed and I still didn't have my period. I was like, this is not normal. This is not what my body does. Mother Nature would have been caned, kicked me in the face, in the throat, by now, what's going on? So, I was like, I don't know, maybe it's the weather. It's about to be summertime and everything is transitioning. Maybe my period's transitioning too. You know, just making up all kind of crazy stuff in my head to be like, um, it could be anything except for the fact that I'm pregnant. So another week goes by. So basically we are two weeks past the day that my period's supposed to start. So this is when I tell my husband like, um, something may be up. I'm not for sure. I want you to get your hopes up because he's been wanting a baby for the longest. Me on the other hand, I could wait until I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Close to that age to where I probably shouldn't be having babies and then try. And so I would say about week three, I finally go to the store and get one of those first response pregnancy tests. I pee on the first one and there's two lines, right? There's two lines on the first one, but the second one's really, really faint. Like it's there, you see it but it's like 
I don't know. I might be, I might not be. And then I took it, I took the pregnancy test. I think it was like middle of the day. I didn't wait and take it in the morning when my, when my hormones are supposed to be like the strongest. So I was like, ah, eh, I'm not even gonna count this one. Showed my husband, I was like, don't get too excited because you know, it could be like a, a false positive. So I waited a few days because I didn't want to take it like right away. Right away after seeing that one, I waited a few days and then I took it again. So the second time when I took it, both lines showed up as clear as day, as pink as my lipstick. It was just clear, like, you are pregnant. And I was like, really? Really universe? Out of all the stuff that I've been asking you for, you send me another baby? Something that I ain't even want? I was low key mad. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, I was low key mad, I was sad, and I was a little bit depressed. I was just like, out of all the things I've been asking for in my life, all the things that I want to go in a certain way, like yeah, I did wanna have a baby again, but not necessarily right now. Why now, universe? Like, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to teach me? Why are you trying to teach me? Whatever it is that you're trying to teach me. But getting me pregnant again, or, I mean, the universe didn't get me pregnant, but. I mean, I had a lot to do with it, but I'm just saying like, I was being real careful and making sure that I was doing it like a week after my period. You know, I was really trying to like calculate the best times to have sexual intercourse without getting pregnant and for the longest I had been doing good. So I was shocked. So my whole mood started to change during my my first trimester. Like I went from being very glamorous, dressing up, high energy, to just not giving a care in the world. Not doing anything to myself other than taking a shower, putting on a little bit of spray, not doing anything to my hair, not putting on any makeup. Like I completely, dropped the ball when it came to self-care. Towards the like the first few weeks of my, my own pregnancy, like when I didn't even really notice it, but I, I was suspecting, I had like really weird cravings. Like I wanted Chinese food with barbecue food and french fries and salad. And so I would go to all these different places and I would get food and I was just like, I'm doing too much. Like. I don't know what's wrong with my taste buds, but for me to be going out of my way to go to all these different places at once for some food is too much. So that's how it was during the first few weeks. And then all of a sudden I just got tired. Like I was so tired. Now I know a lot of women get like morning sickness really, really bad. And I feel so sad for them. But when I get morning sickness, it's annoying because you you feel like you're gonna throw up. Cause or I felt like I was gonna throw up, but I never threw up. I just felt sick all the time. So feeling sick all the time, plus feeling drained. I was gonna work. And I had an attitude. I did um customer service, so I had an attitude like at the end of every call they do like a survey like would you want to speak to this person again and everybody was like no we don't want to speak to sis sis got an attitude so i was just like i was trying i was going and i was trying to do my best but the symptoms they were just horrible and that's what i'm looking for on my phone because i got some notes i'm looking for it At work, I'm giving people attitude. I'm trying my best to even just show up. And it was just, it was weird. And then I started to notice like, the things that I actually liked, I didn't like anymore. Because I am a person who really enjoys the sweet side of life. Like I like chocolate, I like cakes and donuts and brownies. That's probably why I'm a little fat ass, but that's what I like, I like sweet stuff. And so 
I found myself like, mm, let me go and get something sweet because of course I always feel like it's gonna make me feel better. And I would go and I would get something and I would just be completely turned off by it. And I'm just like, what is wrong with me? How I can't eat this Snickers bar or this piece of cake or this donut and actually enjoy it? Why is it making me feel sick? So I realized or I had a disliking to sweet stuff doing my first trimester. It's getting a little bit better in my second trimester, but I can't do too much sugar, which is definitely a good thing because it's gonna help me to prevent an excess weight gain. So I guess that's a good thing. The baby likes to eat stuff that is kind of like clean. I don't know. I guess he's trying to keep me on track and help me to be a better person for him and myself. But anyways, now another thing that was really a trigger for me and that made my morning sickness worse was certain smells. Like things that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis were no longer appealing to my nostrils. Gain laundry soap. No ma'am, I couldn't stand it. I was just like, ugh. And all of my clothes, all of my blankets, everything is washed and gain. And I could have been dramatic and be like, oh, I'm gonna rewash everything, but no, I didn't. I just was feeling sick because of the smell. My toothpaste. I didn't like my toothpaste anymore. I didn't like the way it tasted. I didn't like the way it smelled. It was gross. My husband's cologne. Didn't like that. And to be completely honest and discreet, I did not like the way that my urine smelled. First trimester urine, I don't know if it's just me or if it's everybody, but my urine smelled different. It was gross. And the fact that I was peeing a lot and having to smell it, it was horrible. Like, I low key hated myself because not only did I hate the smell of my urine, I was extremely gassy during my first trimester. I don't know what it is. I wasn't even really, I didn't like, I didn't really even have an appetite for that many foods. So when I would eat, it wasn't like crazy stuff like a lot of beans or, or foods that would cause me to have a lot of gas, but I was still very gassy. And I'm telling you, like when I was at work, I shared kind of a cubicle with somebody, not kind of, but I did. I shared a cubicle with someone and I'd be like, I'm sorry. Like I can't sit here and hold it in because then that makes my stomach hurt. And I'm not, I can't get up and go to the bathroom like every five seconds because I got gas. So every time that I had to release it, I did. And he'd be like, oh my God, Tamaria, not again. And I'm sitting there with the fan trying to fit it away, but it was just, it was horrible. It was stinky. It was horrible. So first trimester, mm -mm. So I would say probably like towards the middle of my trimester is where the fatigue kicked in like a thousand times more. Like I was struggling to get out of the bed each day. It was just all bad. And I was like feeling bad because I'm like, I know I'm not a lazy person and I know that I can do more than what I'm doing, but I wasn't doing shit. When I tell you I wasn't cleaning, I wasn't cooking. Um, my daughter is so lucky that she has a dad because I was intending to her. I was asleep. I was on that couch. I did not move. I did not budge. And then all of a sudden, I got sick. And this happened with my daughter too. And this is like, it happened with her and I didn't even know I was pregnant. So I was actually like taking medication. Like anything, I was taking any and everything. So this time I was kind of familiar with it. And I was like, fuck, I have that pregnancy flu again. So it lasted for seven whole and dire days. When I tell you I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink anything. It was just horrible. Only thing I wanted to do to try to like 
recoup was sleep. That was the only thing I could do was sleep. So I literally slept for like seven days, tried to drink water, tried to eat soup, but it was horrible. I was coughing, I was sneezing, and it was like, my immune system had broken down and it was trying to like rebuild itself or whatever it was doing, but it was crazy. Couldn't take any medicine because they don't want you to take any any over-the-counter medicine when you're in your first trimester. So it was just a no-go. I, I felt like I had the flu and I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't take anything except for water. Of course, in your first trimester of pregnancy, you're gonna go to the bathroom a lot. I don't know why, because the baby's so freaking small, but you go to the bathroom a lot. And then, along with the, the gas, I was constipated. Extremely constipated. So, that sucked. It was like, pushing out all this gas, but I'm not pushing out any bowels. So, I went and I got these fiber gummies and I was taking those and they were helping. And then my doctor prescribed me some, some little powder stuff. You put it in your water and you drink it. And then they also gave me some magnesium to help like soften my stools. So yeah, pretty much took that. And that was pretty much it. That was pretty much like how I found out I was pregnant again for the third time. Some of the symptoms that I had within my first trimester. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.